What up? Tyler here, TylerAcademy.com. If you go real quick, go ahead and punch that subscribe button in the face. That'd be great. Just punch it, and you're like, I just broke my Chromebook. Surprise your favor sub, bro. All right, so today we're gonna look at simplifying 4x to the third, or 4x cubed times 3xy squared times 2xy squared. So I'm gonna let you go ahead and work this, and then we'll I'll work it, and we'll see if we got the sum out. So okay, cool, bye. Do you want to pause it? Cool. Okay, let's work this together. Okay, so we're simplifying this. Now, if you were separated by plus or minus signs, you could not mesh these together unless the variables were the exact same, like same exponent, same everything. However, we're multiplying, so actually when you multiply, you can combine and mesh those things together. So it's like, essentially you just take each part that is similar and you multiply them. So let's start with the regular numbers. So I'm gonna take, I like to circle stuff as I work it. Um, because that way I can mark it out and make sure I don't leave anything behind or double up on anything. So four times three times two. Okay, so we're just gonna multiply the regular numbers. Four times three is 12, times two is 24. So now I'm gonna mark those out because I don't wanna reuse them and I don't wanna think I forgot about them. Now, I'm gonna go to my x's. I'm just multiplying everything that's similar. Okay, so I've got x to the third, just x, and then just x. Now, when you multiply exponents, okay, so when I do like x to the third times x times x, when you multiply them, all you're doing is adding the exponents, okay? And then when you divide them, you subtract, okay? That's just the way exponents work. So I've got x times x times x, which is x to the fifth. If you're kind of confused by that, think of what, what is x times x? It's x squared, right? Now you can really see it and add it. Where a lot of people like, they don't, they think that's a zero because it's not there, it's a one. It's just like anything times one is itself. Um, and then that's still x to the fifth. So I know my x's are x to the fifth. I'm gonna mark them out. And then I've only got y squared, y squared, add my exponents, it's gonna be y to the fourth. And that's it, we simplified it. You're the smartest mathematician in the world. Congratulations. Now you're gonna free ride to Harvard. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't know why I said that. I'm sorry. Please subscribe. Bye, guys.